is Money Talk Radio, AM 740 WSBR Boca Raton, and WPOW HD3, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Here's the latest from ABC News. I'm Dave Schreiber. The cleanup continues in southeastern Colorado. The National Weather Service confirms that at least five tornadoes touched down early Friday. At least seven homes and a hog farm were destroyed. Only minor injuries were reported. One twister blew Lisa Alba out of her home near Lamar. She now has a gash on her head that took four staples to close. Alba says she doesn't know what she'll find when she looks through the ruins of her home. I'd like to find my pictures, all my grandkids' pictures. Friday marked one year since the nation's most violent and widespread tornadoes took the lives of more than 300 people, most of them in Alabama. ABC's Andy Field has details. Most victims knew it was coming. More than 60 recorded tornadoes tearing across 1,000 miles on April 27th last year. The warning systems worked, but in many Alabama towns, there was no safe shelter. Bells remembering 250 Alabama residents killed in the storms. Tuscaloosa Mayor Walter Maddox couldn't believe the damage. We're going to build back better. We're going to build back stronger. Now many Alabama residents back in new homes, remembering so many who couldn't escape. Andy Field, ABC News. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta says he does not think there's any question the U.S. became safer after the raid that killed Osama bin Laden the first anniversary of the May 2nd raid is approaching. Panetta told reporters that while various branches have learned to work better together, there's no single magic formula to destroy terrorism. Officials in Washington state say they've surrounded an underground bunker that they think is occupied by a man who allegedly killed his wife and daughter a week ago and set fire to his house. Dozens of officers are not going into the bunker because they think Peter Keller is heavily armed and it could be booby-trapped. This is ABC News. Honda's really big sales event is monumental, almost elephantine, which means colossal inventory and jumbo-sized deals on every Honda, even the 2012 Civic, the most durable, longest-lasting car in its class. Speaking of lasting a long time, 0.9% APR financing for well-qualified buyers won't. So get to your Honda dealer now before everything reverts back to normal size. Durability based on longevity. Longevity based on Polk U.S. vehicles and operation registration statistics 2001 through 2010 for Civic and competing model. See dealer for financing details. In business, every day is a compromise between what you want and what your budget will allow. Face it, compromise stinks. But with Staples and HP, you don't have to compromise your printing with no-name cartridges. Switch to original HP and get up to $30 in Staples rewards. Just recycle up to three HP generic cartridges and buy HP ink or toner on the same day. That's $10 in rewards for each cartridge recycled. Switch to HP. The number one brand in printing is the number one value. Staples. That was easy. One time only. Offer ends 512-12. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to the wonderful world of wellness with Dr. Andy Mencia. This medical program heard from 7 to 7.30 each Saturday, right here on WSBR, 7.40 a.m., is brought to you by the Adult and Geriatric Center under the medical direction of geriatrician Dr. Andy Mencia. What a beautiful morning. Oh, well, I it love. wasn't so beautiful. It was very rainy, but it's beautiful up inside. Up north, up north for you yeah. guys, up north. Yeah. yeah it's beautiful. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous here in the, the studio. Song, the song coming now at 5 a.m., so it is coming. It's it coming. is coming? I don't yes. see it. It's by Italy right now, but <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we have a special guest that a you brought. A wonderful guest. Um, oh, you shock me every Saturday morning. I never I'm know what to you. expect. My office is full of surprises. These wonderful guys and girls, you know. And I don't know how time, you get any work done. <laughs> eh? Oh, we get so much work done. Because the we, patients we don't love stop. this, don't they? Oh. The patients are enjoying seeing all your new, uh, well, all the people that you work with. Well, it's Pam Shank, and Pam is a, uh, I guess we call her, I want to call her a holistic therapist, uh, a hypnotherapist. Can I do that? A hip- a holistic hypnotherapist? I just made up that word. <laughs> I can say it. You, you don't need to say it, but I want to you say you're You can call holistic. me a clinical hypnotist. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> hypnotist. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, so let's just ask you, what is a hypnotist? Do you a make people fly? A hypnotist is like when we make a cake. <laughs> you put the icing on the cake. <laughs> And then, Pam, is that sherry you put on top. Really? Have you ever been to call me sherry? Never, <laughs> never, never. <laughs> Why don't you describe in a... <laughs> with hypnosis, people get it mixed up with stage hypnosis. And stage hypnosis is real. It's a lot of fun. But there's also a clinical side to it. And what I always say to people is what the mind believes, the body achieves, real or imagined. It just doesn't know the difference <clears throat> Excuse me, between truth and fiction. And often when we're dealing with a medical issue, we get so fearful that we don't know how to project into the future and to how to participate in our own healing process. <clears throat> and that's where hypnosis comes in, because the medical community can do so much, but we have to help. It's not fair to say, Dr. Mencia, heal me. Right. Uh, that's a, I mean, that's such a strong point where you say, what the mind believes, the body will achieve. And if you look at uh, in the history, the kind of thing people have done, a woman that <clears throat> is changing a tire and put the baby under the car, and she finds the strength to lift up her own car to save her child. And then you see so many things that goes on through life, and it's what we call in martial art, mind over matter. Uh, and one of the demonstrations that I do when I'm doing Taekwondo is to walk barefoot, barefooted on glass. And of course, we have to go into a trance, we have to go into meditation. And then we do this, and then we look at, at the skin, and the skin is not bleeding. And we don't do anything different than anybody else. So when I take a nail and I drive a nail with my bare hand, and people come and touch my hand to see if it's full of calluses, and it is not. It's mind over matter. And if people can believe in mind over matter, they can achieve so much without medication. Absolutely right. You know, I was thinking about, what, excuse me, what Dr. Messia <clears throat> just said, and, and I have seen things like that, and I still was in disbelief of people who can do things, I mean, uh, where they, it's impossible when you think about it, <clears throat> but you're watching it, and, and it works. And it's the person's mind, though, who has, has become some sort of a force. Well, think about it that someone that's dealing with pain and they're so focused on the pain and they happen to watch a funny movie on TV. For the time that they're watching that funny movie, guess what? No pain. The movie ends and bingo, it's back the because they back. got their mind away from it. And sometimes people just don't know how to get out of that mindset and that's where hypnosis comes in. So, Dr. Mencia, my question to you is, the mind is really the brain, the, right? The mind's right, the brain. Right. And, and what is the brain doing differently in under hypnosis as compared to without hypnosis? Well, it's like when you go for a massage therapy, when you go for acupuncture, um, you, go into, you try to relax. If you go for acupuncture and massage and your mind is all over, the treatment that you are getting won't be effective. If you go to a doctor and you're talking to a doctor about a cough that you are having, but at the same time when the doctor is talking back at you, your mind is back in your business or with your family, and you're going to leave the office worse than when you come in. But if you concentrate in that one problem and you put your mind into something, you focus into what you're doing, and it's what kids will do to, to study. So uh, a lot of uh, kids that are into sport, they do uh, hypnosis so they can improve their, their performance. So the mind is, is co basically controlled the entire body. And I mean, we talk about the mind, the brain. We the say brain, mind and brain the, is the same right, word? Exactly. Okay. Right. And because, you know, we've talked so the, about the, the brain. The and body and houses the, the brain and, and all its parts. So you have the brain, the spinal cord, and all its branches. So the, the way God made your body, the body enhances your brain. And the mind is enhanced by the, by, the, uh, by the brain. And one thing I know, Pam, Pam Shank is our uh, guest this morning, along, of course, uh, with Dr. 
um, Andy Mencia. You can take um, off your sunglasses now. It's a one hit device. It's okay. Uh, it, yeah. You can look at her. You keep looking down. Come no, on, no, no, no. I like <laughs> the no, no, hypnosis. I'm happy. No, I, that's my way I think. Okay, she thinking. does hypnotize me with those hypnosis. beautiful eyes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but uh, what I was going to say is that people who want to be able to do what Dr. Mencia said, aren't always able without the help of a hip- hypnos- with hypnotist because you really have to help them, teach them and show them, don't you? Well, sometimes we just can't get out of our own way and we don't even realize how negative we are. And hypnosis is subtle. It's not that you, unless you're coming in for stop smoking, you'll notice right away you're not smoking. But for other things, it's not like you walk out of the office and you go, woohoo. It's just over the next few days you realize, wow, something's different. Um, well, let's talk about that. So people do come to you for to stop smoking. How about for uh, weight loss? Absolutely. Tell us all the things that they oh, generally it, come it's, in it's for. It's endless. Stop smoking, weight loss, um, fear of flying, all kinds of fears, uh, claustrophobia. Dental work. Dental work. Yes. Uh, people that have TMJ. Um if someone's about to have surgery, they need hypnosis before and ideally after, but at least before, um, to get them prepared for the surgery, to know that they're going to have a good outcome because people are petrified. Um, if they grind your teeth, they can go under hypnosis to have them relax. I have a patient yesterday <clears throat> that we saw at the office. And I was talking to the patient about Pam. He's a fly attendant. He's in a heavy duty dose for TMJ, so he's taking pain medication. And he, you know, he comes to me sometime every week. As soon as he lands, he comes to my office, and we, you know, we talk. I told him options, including Botox for, you know, TMJ and the grinding. And yesterday we spent a lot of time talking about Pam. I say, listen, you know, I know. Surgery is not an option. He does not want to go under surgery. And uh, I said, you know, we should really try hypnosis. You know, it might be the answer to to what you're looking for and get you off from the pain medication. But like you say, he's so close into this is what's helping me, but it's not really helping me and it's affecting my job. And he cannot let go of the treatment, the medical treatment, so we can go into the holistic approach. And I told him, I said, until you are ready, I'll wait. And you, know, right. you can talk about because people. For, only... why, why hypnosis work on some people and why it doesn't? <laughs> Isn't the There's, fact that they just. Absolutely. There's two reasons. Lots of times people will say, I think I'm too strong willed to be hypnotized, or you can't hypnotize me. Well, then why are you here? Of right. course I can hypnotize you. There, but there's really only two reasons why someone can't be hypnotized. They don't want to be or there's an underlying fear. You cannot hypnotize someone against their will. However, it's important that when they're finished with their hypnosis session is they stay positive and know that it's going to work. If they're living with someone that's negative and keeps hitting them with negative suggestions, and I always say become aware of your thoughts that mental chatter, because we don't realize how negative we are. <clears throat> and should a negative thought come up or that internal dialogue, catch it and immediately change it with a positive. Well, I've had hypnosis over the years uh, for weight loss and different things, and I usually get a tape. Do you give someone a tape when they leave you? For most things, no. And let me tell you why. It's the way the mind works. If I send someone out of the office with a tape on a subconscious level, that's telling them, I guess it didn't work. I need the reinforcement. It's Uh, the way the mind picks it up. So I don't. I do make tapes if someone's going in for surgery so they can play the tape throughout the surgery so they don't hear what's being said in the operating room. I even had an anesthesiologist come to me one time and say, is it all right that they play rap music in the OR? I said, do you mean the rap music where they're not saying such positive things? And he said, yes. I said, of course not. I said, that person is hearing all of that 
if you want to do something, play nice, calming, relaxing music. Yes. But that's one reason um, I'll make a CD for them and let them play it while they're having the surgery to block out the background noises. But based on the surgery, I add in healing statements to help their recovery progress. That's excellent. You know, I was thinking about this, Dr. Mency. 20 years ago, it would be, it would be, I don't know what the word is, in, in, unimaginable for a physician of your um, reputation to be bringing on <laughs> a hypnotist to talk about the medical health. It, wouldn't it? I mean, either, things have changed. Without a doubt. Either, well, no, not either, for you. Either I'm no. crazy or, yeah. or uh, right. I believe in no, the challenge. No. Yeah, but you, you the always challenge. have been yes. this way. This is this a new is way. Wonderful. I mean, growing up in Hawaii, I, um, I have a friend of mine that he couldn't get any form of anesthesia, local anesthesia for dental work. And the dentist brought a, a person to do hypnotherapist. And this guy will go in even for extraction without any anesthesia, just with uh, going under hypnosis. And then also being a master in Taekwondo, uh, I strongly believe in mind over matter. Right. And uh, before I met Pan, a patient will come to me and we start the workup and we diagnose cancer. The first thing that I would do with my patient is empower their mind. Because I, you know, I tell my patient, listen, if you give in now, your immune system is going to shut down and you're going to die of this cancer. Forget about chemotherapy, radiation therapy, surgery. You have to keep your immune system to the utmost level. That's right. And you do that with mind over matter. There is no other way around. But that's often easier said than done because they're so petrified. Well, and you know, the, 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 the fear, the way I see the fear in this patient and, and the way I explain it to them is imagine yourself driving in a, in a highway all by yourself. Nobody else is around and you crash. Now you are inside your car. Do you stay inside the car or do you get out and get some help to get, you know, go home? And people, they crash and they stay inside a car. They won't get out. If the car is burning, they're going to burn inside a car. You need to get That's out great. and look. Yeah, Isn't look. that a that beautiful is great. analogy? I like that. Yeah, you're good. And, you know, I'll tell you, <laughs> 7 in the morning, whatever time it is, you're it's good. It's that cup of coffee. Nice yeah, to right, have right, water. Right. I've got to tell everybody who you're listening to. If you just tuned in and you haven't been listening to these shows, every Saturday morning at 7 to 7.30, we're so um, privileged to hear Dr. Andy Mencia who is a medical director and founder of the Adult and Geriatric Medical Center. They're located on East Commercial Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale. And Dr. Mencia has a fantastic group of associates there at his, um, well, he's built a more or less of a holistic practice. He has so many people right there in his building, and then you don't have to go make appointments everyone else, everywhere else. Well, just to, um, to make this point clear, Pam Shank, is someone that he felt was very important. He asked her to come on the radio show this morning, and we are very privileged to have you also, Pam. Thank you so much. She, so has, been, she has been a wonderful addition to the to the practice, and, you know, I keep telling my patient, I want them, you know, to meet her. And we are going to have an open house. I want people to really get to know her. And everyone. Uh, all because, these you know, people that you've been bringing. They are, you know, they are wonderful, you know, uh, the psychologists that we have. And one of the things that we want to do, to create a weight loss program is to have uh, the psychologist, um, Dr. Gillette, Pam, and uh, Nicole as a team with me. That's so fantastic. we can work in a true weight reduction program from the holistic point of view, not from the medical point of view. But I'm there as a physician if medicine is needed. But you still have to be there as a physician to check everything. Of course. In medically, yeah, of course. which a lot of the weight loss programs do not have that, as you know. You just go in and there's somebody that was selling shoes uh, two weeks ago and now they're yeah. helping. I want but to you get know, your I mean, phone but number. You'd be, amazed, you'd be amazed when you see people, you know, I, I believe in, in what Pan does. I believe in it. Because I, do too. I growing up in Hawaii, you know, it's the way I grew up. So I grew I believe up in, in Miami but, Beach and I believe but in it. For <laughs> those, even for those people in my staff that at the beginning were a little bit reluctant, you sure you want to bring a hypnotherapy to the practice? You know, when they see patients coming back and they say, oh, I got treatment with Pam, one treatment, and I stopped smoking. And they will say, I don't know what happened to me. I left that office. <laughs> And I just didn't feel like picking up a cigarette anymore. 
Is it one hour that usually takes? How, is that what you do? <clears throat> the first session I allow an hour and a half just so I have enough time to find out exactly what they want to work on and to eliminate their misconceptions and fears of hypnosis because people often are more nervous about me than what they're dealing yes. with because they think I'm going to make them cluck like a chicken. And so you far, don't? you know what? <laughs> She. All the years of practice, <laughs> no like one's come chicken. in and said, please make me cluck. So yeah. now <laughs> we could be famous. Let me give uh, Dr. Mencia his phone number, please. I do urge you to make an appointment with Dr. Mencia. If you're looking for a wonderful doctor, a medical group, or if you want a, a, hypno, a hypnosis, please call 954-489-1345. That's 954-489-1345. 1345, make an appointment. Um, I, something we don't talk about much. Dr. Mencia did write a book called Take Care of Your Kidneys so they can take care of you. So many people, you know, are really having problems with their kidneys as they age, I think. It's as we, harder, yeah, isn't as it? we age, um, we tend to lose the kidneys, um, the function of the kidneys. And unfortunately, even before ending up in dialysis, a lot of people die with kidney failure. Uh, and we can damage the kidney with so many medication that we take. So it's imperative that you always bring your medication. And I tell my patient, you know, bring your medication to the office. I don't care what's in the computer system, what's in paper. I want to see what you're putting in your mouth. That's more important to me than what's in the paper. And your supplements, everything, and right? And the supplements and everything. And I look at that because some of these things go through the kidneys. Some, some of them get excreted through the GI. So a lot of them get metabolized through the liver. And one can interfere with the other one. And I get patients that say, oh, I'm taking this pill for my blood pressure and that pill for my blood pressure. And I take both of them in the morning. I say, no, one is contradicting the other. And then I will switch them around. I say, take one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And suddenly, they don't need that much blood pressure medication because we stop the contradiction. I like harmony. I know you yeah. like harmony. Yeah, um, I hate Tell fighting. me how you actually met Pam, if I may ask. Through my patient. Uh, my patient went to, wanted to quit smoking. And, you know, we've been talking about the cigarettes and the side effect of the cigarettes. And, and that's what a lot of us do as physicians. You know, our job is to educate patients. But, you know, I don't feel comfortable stopping there. So my patients say, you know, I say, you know, hypnosis work is really good. And he found Pam. And he said, Dr. Messia, you're right. I went for hypnotherapy. Uh, I got one section. She said I can have more if I wanted to. But that one section, that worked for me, and I'm great. I say I want to meet the lady because I'm right. looking for somebody like her. Usually yeah. over 90% of the people will quit smoking in one session. That's amazing. I, say, I mean, I can't even. I, I say it's a numbers game. If you feel you need another one, get back in right away. Don't let time pass. But most people will quit in one session. Okay, so I think maybe I'm going to commit and come to you for some more weight loss because I've gotten off my track somehow. I don't have these trips and all. Uh, you know, it's important I got to get for, back you know, there. I don't want the audience to get a misconception. They have to see me to see Pam or any of the consultant, Dr. Gillette or, or Nicole. You know, you can call the office and you can say, I want an appointment because you might have a great physician that you love and you don't have to leave your physician. You know, but if you need to come into the office, just call the office and let them know you want an appointment with Pam, and we'll set that up for you. Okay, okay I'm calling. Ring, ring, ring. Pam, <laughs> I want an appointment. Okay, I'm going to come this coming week. I'm coming. I'm about to talk to you. That's great. And then I'll come back and tell everybody about my session, right? Wonderful. You go. I'm going to do it. Yes, okay, I'm going to go do that. Okay, well, let's uh, let's keep going on with this. Let's talk about people who um, who... And I, I guess it's because I, I just reviewed a book for our upcoming issue, A Woman Who Became a Widow. And she really struggled the first three, four years. And she was, and I'm wondering if you're ever getting people like that. Can you help people like that? Absolutely. I also get a lot of people that have just gone through a divorce. It's still grief. I've also had people call and say, can you help me to totally forget about someone and I'm thinking well they're talking from emotion <laughs> right there and I said well how about if we just remove the emotional connection to that person exactly 
Yeah. Well, this is great. Yeah. Because, and that's know. funny because that's something that most people don't think about hypnosis for. Okay, what is the difference then if somebody says they used to go to psychologists or they went to psychiatrists and they're coming to a hypnotist? Tell me the differences in your mind and how maybe you can help us with the, that, Dr. Vinci, or however, just both of you mm. jump in. <laughs> yeah. I work a lot with psychiatrists and psychologists, and we work well together, and it's just a different process. And sometimes someone needs a psychologist, and often um, the difference is a hypnotist, you don't go to a hypnotist as often as you would a therapist. It's usually anywhere between one and four times. There are exceptions. Sometimes you do see someone a little bit longer, but it's usually anywhere from one to four sessions for a particular issue. Now, way I was, and you can help me with Dr. Mencia with this, and the first thing I thought of is go to a psychologist. They're talking to you, and you're talking to them. Hypnotist, you're, you're lying there, and that hypnotist is talking with you. Not true? <laughs> the The... Misconception. Okay, well, that's what we're doing. The therapist is talking more with the conscious mind. The hypnotist is working with the subconscious mind, which is the emotional mind. That's good. That's what I meant. And so we're working with the... And that's the part that's so difficult to get to, the subconscious mind. Because even when people will come in, they'll say, I know my problem was caused by this, this, and this. Usually it isn't. Because if that was the case, they would have worked it out themselves. Right. It, it usually is something so distant to what they think it is. And that's why hypnosis comes across as magical. Because you can get into an area where they, they don't even know that's their problem, but you can because right. it goes directly in helping them get into their mind, into the deep. The, the emotional part of their mind. Right. Yeah. Have you had hypnosis, doctor? Uh, yes. 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 Tell us when about I, that. Well, I was trying uh, to forget someone. Taekwondo. <laughs> no, <laughs> trying to remember my techniques. <laughs> in uh, Hawaii, in Hawaii, I was Hawaii all champion in Taekwondo. I was undefeated, and uh, one of the um, one of the part of the training that we used to have with the master was going under hypnosis before a competition. So that we remember all the techniques when you know when we were competing, and we perf- our performance was so superior, and that was one of one of our secrets because nobody else was doing it but us. And it also just dra- you can block out interference from people that might be watching. Right. So you, the noise, whether they're cheering you on or. It- they're booing you that you don't hear it, it doesn't bother you, it doesn't disturb well, you. Well, isn't it true that some of the sports figures, before they do a shot and do certain things, mm-hmm. um, that they are either going under self-hypnosis or some? It's self-hypnosis. All hypnosis is self-hypnosis. Right. In other words, someone will say, can you guarantee success? No, I can't guarantee what your mind's going to do. It's what your mind will allow me to do. And that's why I spend that extra time so I can phrase things back to a client with words that they've used. And people don't know to be successful. It's not only, you know, you and your patient, because you can have an excellent section with your patient. Then your patient go back to the home. And if they have a negative person over there, they can just destroy everything. Absolutely. It can undo everything. Um, Negativity just destroys it. And you can have an abusive, you can have an abusive husband, abusive wife, and you go under hypnosis, you go back home, and that person can destroy everything you have done. So sometimes I said to my patient, if you are in this kind of situation and you need to go under hypnosis, don't even tell that person you go under hypnosis. That's right. Because if you don't, and we're talking about how hypnosis, how it would not work. And sometimes you go under hypnosis, then you go home, and if your husband is very negative, he can destroy everything you just It'll undo the for. whole thing. 
Oh, well, because we, negativity, unfortunately, goes into the subconscious mind like a hot knife through butter. It just mm-hmm. goes right in. Well, we're not going to allow that to happen. And Dr. Nine five four four eight nine one three four five. You can see fun. I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be. I'm going to. I'm going to do it. And we are open it. on Saturdays. You're not allowed to be in my room when I'm having my, my I'm gonna hypnosis. I'm going to close the door on you again. Yeah, right. Close my door. Anyway, if you want to wait, you know, you can do this after my show. I'll, I'll be glad. I'm sure you can do it anywhere. We're going to do it on the air. <laughs> You know, is that a possibility? The subconscious <gasps> of Anita that Findlay. Be, I'll tell you what we'll do. First I'll go and I'll do it the real way. Richard, we'll and do then, the subconscious of Anita Findlay. And then Findlay. we ought to do it on the... Uh, oh. Can you do it on the... That would be fun. We'll do Richard to quit smoking. Uh, Yay! <laughs>